trying to stay healthy because it's interesting times we're living in. Um, so I do want to share a few updates. Uh, as uh, I'm sure you've been getting updates over the last um, day and a half or so. Uh, the last time I was here and got to chat with you, I, I think it was in my first term, so I, I was a freshman member of, of the House. We had just um, uh, come into a new majority and uh, I remember thinking that a big part of my role was going to be to help educate my colleagues about uh, about what the uh, tribal federal relationship was and make sure that we were doing everything we can to uh, keep uh, Indian country at the forefront of, uh, of folks' minds as they create policy. And um, the, the mission has stayed the same. Um, you know, as one of the few uh, Native uh, Indigenous folks in the U.S. House, I certainly take that role very seriously and um, spend time trying to educate my colleagues about uh, sovereignty, uh, rights, self-determination, uh, the responsibility and the trust responsibility that exists for, uh, that the federal government has to, to Native, Native Americans, Native Hawaiians, Native Alaskans, and um, I sit as the co-chair of the Native American Caucus with uh, Congressman Tom Cole from Oklahoma, and uh, I also serve on three committees. I am on the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee, I'm on the Small Business Committee, and I have joined the Agriculture Committee in this term. Uh, we have some pretty big pieces of legislation um, that I will absolutely share a bit about. Um, but I do want to take a minute to talk a little bit about the accomplishments that um, I've gotten the chance to be part of in my five years in Congress, feels like 20. Um, 25, I don't know, I don't know, it depends on the day. Um, uh, because a, a major priority of my time in this session of Congress is it is actually on the implementation of some of the major pieces of legislation that we were able to get passed uh, in the last Congress. That's things like the bipartisan infrastructure law that has actually more than $13 billion for Indian country, um, also has uh, money to invest in our, our climate um, crisis that we're facing and, and make sure that our transportation infrastructure systems are more resilient and, uh, and, and more sustainable. Also making sure that there are things like broadband access um, for, for Indian country. And, um, you know, I, I actually spend a, a decent amount of time trying to communicate uh, the, the priorities and needs of Indian country that actually a lot of you, I can't see very many people actually, but I know that the folks that are out here, um, the folks that are out here share priorities with my office and I really appreciate that because, um, because it is a unique opportunity to be able to share as a peer with other members of Congress the needs of Indian country. And um, and then we've gotten some pretty awesome pieces of legislation passed. Now we need to make sure that we're implementing those. And um, we have, as the Native American Caucus, had the chance to host a number of briefings um, with the Department of Interior, the Department of Commerce, um, to not just uh, to not just learn about what tribal consultation, I know, um, about what tribal consultation can look like, should look like, um, but also what are some of the ways that we can um, make the implementation of these pieces of legislation a lot more successful? Uh, because, uh, I, and I actually got the chance to hear some from some folks yesterday, um, I, I want to hear not just about the things that are going well. I would like to hear about the things that are going well. Um, but I also want to hear about the things that um, that folks are struggling with or, or running into issues with because um, that is going to be one of the most um, important ways for us to, to continue to improve upon uh, the work that uh, not just the Congress but that the administration is doing. Um, and then 
uh, when we think about accomplishments, I can't, I can't uh, fail to mention the years of advocacy that uh, folks put in to get advanced appropriations um, for IHS, and that in 2022, um, we were able to see advanced appropriations for IHS uh, actually become law. I know, I was very excited. It's not just with IHS. Um, and, you know, the, the advanced appropriations uh, addresses so many issues. It addresses the uh, need for greater planning, the um, more efficient spending, the increased recruitment and retention of, uh, of healthcare providers, and, and then just improving the quality of care. And, you know, that was a, a major priority for uh, tons of, of folks out there who were coming in um, and sharing not just with me, but with a bunch of my colleagues about the importance of that. And um, speaking of making your voices heard on important matters, um, I know that we're, we're still hearing from folks, and I hope to continue to hear from, from folks about the uh, farm bill that we're still working on. Um, I, it, that sometimes, you know, Groundhog Day was just like not that long ago, and um, never mind, I'm not gonna, y'all know. Um, and it, especially like for, for, year, for years and years, I haven't had enough coffee, full disclosure. Um, for years and years, I do think that um, native, native voices, native communities, and um, uh, and indigenous voices have been left out of this farm bill process. Um, and uh, when we're talking about efforts to address things like food insecurity, um, you know, support individual farmers making investments again in, in some of the um, infrastructure that's necessary. I think that, um, you know, of course we've seen some progress. We saw some in 2018. The Farm Bill included uh, 63 tribal provisions that help alleviate some of the um, some of those obstacles that exist for food programs, for nutrition programs, I should say, um, and, and established some uh, uh, tribal um, uh, priorities when it comes to the grant programs. Um, and, then, and then also making sure that we're investing in uh, tribal colleges, which is uh, a, really important, um, a really important addition and provision that we need to be taking very seriously as we go on. Um, so I'm hoping that, that as we continue to work on the Farm Bill that we'll see some continued success in that. Um, you know, and, and then of course I'm going to continue to think about things like uh, crop insurance and um, ag research and, and making, just making sure that people actually have access to uh, food. <laughs> um, I'm just up here saying profound things, people should have access to food. Okay. Um, look, I'm in Congress, so it's not lost on me that, that I actually do need to say that out loud so folks know that, um, that it's a, a priority. Um, and being on the Ag Committee has actually been, um, it, it's been a very, very interesting, oh shoot, I'm out of time, I'm so sorry, I didn't see this thing, is like flashing at me. Um, Okay, I'm going to just say a couple more things, make two more jokes, and then I'm going to head out. Um, just kidding, it might be four jokes. I have no idea. Um, but I, I was able to share the recommendations, tribal recommendations, um, uh, for, the, for the 2023 for Farm Bill. Um, and that was things like making sure that um, we're supporting tribal sovereignty through the uh, food distribution program, so the 638. Um, food distribution program, uh, you know, uh, the pilot program, trying to make sure that uh, ends up being permanent. Um, uh, fully funding the federally recognized tribal extension program, um, FDIPR or FERTEP, like I could just, y'all already know all the acronyms, I, I think. Um, and then making sure that we've got uh, parity for tribal governments because that's a really important uh, important piece of that. I know there's a bunch of, there's tons of stuff that we're all dealing with. Please um, uh, do not hesitate to reach out to my office uh, to let us know about the priorities that you have. And then the last thing I wanna say is that um, just last week, 
uh, Congressman Cole and I were able to reintroduce the Truth and Healing Commission on Federal Indian Boarding Schools Act. And um, we are currently in the and we're currently in the process of, of not just briefing folks on that. Um, in fact, we've had there was well, you know, there was a briefing yesterday. We're going to have a briefing on the Hill today um, about that, and we're going to just continue to make sure to elevate this so that now it's really be beeping at me. I have to go. I'm probably holding up the secretary of everything. Okay, thank you all so much. I really appreciate you. I'll talk to you soon.